hello friends welcome back to online mass up we have this question right here so this is 1 power x is equal to negative 3 okay so we're going to be solving for x and so we're able to find out the value of x that will satisfy this equation right here okay so one of the basic things i can do at this point is just to take the natural log of both sides so that i can be able to bring down this unknown so if i do that i'm going to be having the natural log of 1 power x okay is equal to the natural log of negative 3 okay and then of course uh, using the property of natural log natural log of a uh, power b you can actually use b to multiply the natural log of a okay so that if i bring this one down i'm going to be having the x multiplied by the natural log of 1 and it's equal to the natural log of negative 3 okay and at this point you actually see that there is a problem because natural log of 1 is 0 and then 0 times x is equal to 0 but of course 0 cannot be equal to natural log of negative 3 because of course natural log of negative 3 it's not even defined so we've got into problem and then what we need to do next is just to find a way to extend our solution to that of uh, the complex numbers okay so we're going to be doing is just to find out some representations of these values so we can be able to make some substitution okay so to do that you remember the Euler formula which is exponential i theta which is defined as cos theta plus i sine theta okay so if we actually substitute zero for theta right here you're actually going to be seeing that exponential zero will be equal to cos zero plus i sine zero and of course sine zero here is equal to zero and then cos zero is equal to one so obviously you can see that when theta is equal to zero this exponential equation now becomes equal to one this is not just going to be happening for zero alone so when you substitute theta equals two pi okay you also see that exponential i two pi we still give you a similar thing because of course this will give you cos two pi plus i sine 2 pi and this term here will still be equal to zero okay zero multiplied by i is same and then cos 2 pi will still be equal to one okay so this is one good and then of course you see that exponential i 2 pi will be equal to one if you also check exponential let's see 4 pi you will still see that it will be equal to one so that in general when you check exponential i 2k pi okay this is actually going to be equal to one for all integer values of k okay now from here we can actually go ahead to make the substitution that is whenever we see one we can substitute um, exponential i to uh, k pi okay so if we do that the question we have caught at the beginning which is of course uh, 1 power x equal to negative 3 we now change to exponential i to k pi and then multiply by this x right here will be equal to negative 3 okay and then of course i can use this x to multiply the stuff inside the bracket and if i do that i'll be having exponential i 2 pi kx okay this i is equal to negative 3. okay so we add this uh, exponential i 2 pi k or 2 k pi x is equal to negative 3 so taking the natural log of both sides i'm going to be having exponential natural log of exponential i 2 k pi x okay 
is equal to the natural log of negative 3 then using the property of natural log i'm actually going to bring this power right here down so i have i 2 pi k x natural log of exponential is equal to the natural log of negative 3 okay and of course natural log of exponential is equal to 1 okay so i'm gonna be having i 2 pi kx is equal to the natural log of negative 3 and at this point we can divide through by the coefficient of x that is i 2 pi k okay i 2 pi k so that if this cancels this obviously x is now equal to the natural log of negative 3 and then divided by i 2 pi k and don't forget this is actually going to be happening for all integer values of k okay but we're not done yet because of course i cannot be here so what we'll just need to do is to multiply through by i so that we can remove the i the denominator and if i do that this i times i would be equal to minus one so i'll push the minus up okay minus i multiplied by the natural log of negative three Okay, so this is what we are going to be having divided by 2 pi k. And then, uh, next thing we want to actually evaluate because, of course, the natural log of negative 3 does not exist. So, we still want to find a way to express it in complex numbers. Okay, so we can actually write this as natural log of negative 1 multiplied by 3. Okay, so using the property of natural log, we can actually sum this that is the natural log of negative one and then plus the natural log of three okay so our job is just to represent this negative one in complex numbers and then if you remember the exponential the polar exponential equation we considered earlier on that is exponential i theta defined as cos theta plus i sine theta if you actually consider theta to be equal to pi you see that this function i exponential i t i pi let me put pi here will not be equal to cos pi okay cos pi plus i sine pi okay sine pi is equal to zero so this side turns to zero cos pi is negative one Okay, so you can see that exponential i pi will be equal to negative 1. And then you can also consider some other terms, but in general, you will actually see that whenever theta is equal to uh, pi plus 2 pi m, and of course, for all integer values of m, uh, this, this exponential function is actually going to be equal to okay it's actually going to be equal to minus one okay so in place of this minus one you see over here we're actually going to be uh, replacing it with this function right here so if we do that natural log of negative three which we got to be equal to natural log of negative one plus a natural log of three we can now write as the natural log of exponential uh, i okay a pi plus 2 pi m okay then plus the natural log of 3 so that if i bring down these powers right here i'm going to be having i okay into pi plus 2 pi m and then of course natural log of e plus natural log of three and then natural log of e is equal to one so i'm going to be having i into pi plus two pi m and then of course plus natural log of three okay then at this point 
uh, we cannot go ahead to replace this in the uh, value of x which we got and of course we got x to be equal to i minus i okay natural log of negative 3 and then of course divided by 2 pi k okay so if we substitute this value of natural log of negative 3 right there what we're going to be having is that our x will now be equal to negative i into i okay bracket pi plus 2 pi m and then of course uh, plus natural log of 3 all divided by 2 pi k and then moving on if i multiply through my uh, this i multiply by this i will be equal to minus 1 and then minus 1 times minus will be equal to plus so what i have is pi plus 2 pi m okay and then of course minus i multiplied by natural log of uh, 3 will give us natural uh, minus i natural log of 3 then divided by 2 pi k so this is actually going to be the value of s and obviously you can see here that x is uh, a complex number because of course you can see uh, from here that this is the imaginary part and then this is the real number part so let me know if you've understood the solvings if you've got any value in the video do not forget to subscribe to our channel like this video i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye